All right. <laughs> I feel like, all right, let's get started. Okay, so how to build credit if I can't get approved for credit cards? This is a really, really, really good question. And um, y'all, when y'all asking questions, don't be like, this is a stupid question, but your question isn't stupid. Just ask me, okay? It's not a stupid question. So number one, secured cards, okay? Um, start with secured cards. If you can't get approved for your traditional unsecured credit cards, start secured. It's nothing wrong with starting secured. Um, try them out. There are so many different credit card companies out there. Um, Capital One Platinum is a good secure card. Discover It is a good secure card. Navy Federal and Rewards, Kickoff Credit Account, um, Self Credit Builder Credit Card is a great way to start establishing some credit. If you don't have any or if you're in the rebuilding stage or if you just have, you know, poor credit, start with a secure credit card, okay? Number two, get you a credit builder loan. See, the thing is creditors are wanting to see sweet. A credit, what did I just say? Did I say credit builders? Lord have mercy. Credit card um, companies want to see that you can pay debt, you know? So they want to see some payment history established. So getting you a credit builder loan will allow you to establish payment history. So we got self lender, we got money lying, um, your local banks and credit unions. You can always get a credit builder loan with them, you know, just to get some payment history established. And there's nothing wrong with that. Number three, becoming an authorized user. We all have somebody in the family who got credit cards from the 1930s um and we want them to allow us to be an authorized user on their credit card because that shit is old as dirt um but no the more established a person is the more seasoned they are um the chances of them having an old credit card will be really 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 beneficial to your credit profile old credit old meaning, you know, longer credit age, this account has been open for a long period of time, more payment history, and then, um, which is also beneficial to your profile, the chances of them knowing how to manage this card will be through the roof, you know, so you want somebody who's, you know, pretty good with making on-time payments, you know, just, that's what you want when you're thinking about becoming an authorized user. So those are three ways that you can establish credit build credit without having a traditional credit card because i know how it is when you're in that um beginning stage of building your credit like a lot of companies don't want to give you a credit card because they just don't know if they can trust you yet you look risky because you don't have any credit established or you have poor credit history and they're just not willing to take a chance on you so we all have to start from somewhere and it's nothing wrong with that like Everybody has to start from somewhere. So don't be beating yourself up if you can't get approved for all these big name credit cards just yet. You know, take six months to a year to establish some credit history, making on-time payments, keeping that utilization under 10%, and you'll be good to go, okay? So try these things out. Let me know if it's working for you. If you have any other tips, leave a comment below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.